guys, I'm on the sofa once more and guess what, it's a homebrew review and another one from our patron, Beer Lover 1983 Brew. I always forget the brew on the end, don't know why. Um, affectionately known to a lot of us as Grant and this one is something special I believe. It's Pilgrim's Hope and it's got the old uh, the man on there, John Wayne. Um, and it's a festival brew, um, or festival kit, should I say. And a lot of people are raving about the festival kits. I've never done one myself, um, but you, it's basically like a two-can kit. Um, it's in plastic bags, not cans, but essentially it's the same thing. But you get two lots of sugar, priming sugar and normal sugar, and you also get some hop additions as well. Um, and people are loving it because... Um, hey, you can't go and buy some hops yourself. Um, if you ask me, there's more to go wrong um, in those kits, but the proof of the pudding, as always, is in the drinking, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I've got very high hopes. Remember that Golden Stag beer I did a while back? That was one as well, but I didn't know that at the time. Uh, this time, I've done a bit more research about Pilgrim's Hope. Let's get off our horse and drink some fucking milk. Right, let's crack this bad boy. It's been in the fridge -y, so should be cool. Bit of smokage, but not nothing too bad. We got the pint glass. Hasn't been in the freezer this time, I'm afraid. Um, but let's go for a pour. As usual, Grant, he loves the priming sugar. Um, but this one doesn't look too bad, so... We got a bit of carbonation, but nothing major. Oh, we got a few floaters in there already. Now, that was something I had a problem with before. Grant, mate, to be perfectly honest, I really think that you're putting a bit too much priming sugar in and it's disturbing the yeast at the bottom. Um, either that, or maybe I should leave them a bit longer. But uh, yeah, I can see a few floaters, uh, yeast particles and stuff floating around in there. Carbonation's good. We've got, hmm, should we call that half finger head? Nice. Let's have a snifter. Hmm, not getting too much. Now, I know that this has got two hop additions. And I guess they've been put in um, the primary. I don't think this has been in the secondary, otherwise no doubt I would be able to smell them. We've got Summit in there, I believe, and I can't remember what the other one is. Hmm, so not that great on the smell. Um, which kind of leads me to think, why give you the hops at all in the kit? You know, unless you're gonna dry hop it, what's the point? Just mix it in with the, um, mix it into the boil when you're making the uh, malt extract. Anyway, Let's not be cynical, this is um, a brew from Grant, so cheers, cheers guys. Damn it. Guys, you have to forgive me, that was um, a phone call from my missus there and I had to answer it, so right in the middle of my drinking the first sip of beer so you know that's no good man but let me tell you it's quite nice mm. it's definitely a bitter it is quite bitter I'm getting that from the hops I'll give you that it's that kind of IPA kind of bitterness which is nice in my book um, these floating things um, yeah, they kind of putting me off, really. I guess they're little bits of yeast and stuff that are floating around in there, but hey, that's what happens when you brew your own beer um, and you add priming sugar to it. Um, very well carbonated. I don't know if you can get that. Very fizzy. <laughs> little bit too bitter for me, I have to say. If it was me making this kit, I think I would put all the uh, the hop additions in to a secondary so you had more aroma. Uh, I suspect 
There's a tiny bit on the aroma, but I suspect the hops have been added um, at, at an earlier stage, and it's made it sort of kind of bitter, more bitterness. I mean, it is a bitter anyway, um, a best bitter. <laughs> mm. But yeah, lovely beer. Can't fault the beer. Grant, you make lovely beer. First of all, I'm not 100% sure if it's as amazing as everyone seems to make out. Um, when you can pick up wherries and stuff in the Wilco sale at half price, um, you know, for under a tenner, and festival kits are 25 quid or 24 quid, depending where you get them, um, you could always purchase some, uh, some extra hops from somewhere like, hmm, let me think, maybe Idle Valley Brewing, yeah? If you haven't been there, check it out, run by our good friend Harry. Um, and he does very good prices. <laughs> but yeah, look at that photo on there. Pilgrim, hey Pilgrim. That reminds me of the time when I used to ride in a rodeo on the pro bull riding circuit. And let me tell you, those fucking bulls, they don't give you a fucking inch. If you treat them fucking nicely, that horn is going where the sun don't shine. So, let me tell you, don't ride balls. It ain't worth it, mate. It's good money, but it ain't worth it. And you have to wear the hat and the really tight trousers. And you have to do line dancing all the time. But, John Wayne, absolute ledge. Hey, Pilgrim, this one's out to you.